So it was only a matter of time, but developers over at XDA, impatiently waiting for the S8, managed to take the launcher from it and port it over to the S7. In addition to being able to use the new launcher without even needing root, by the way, you can also get Bigsby, which is Samsung's new voice assistant, as well as the new always on display. On the phone screen, go to settings, lock screen and security, tap allow from unknown sources to allow the phone to install APK files that aren't from the Play Store. Next in your internet browser on your S7 or S7 Edge, which is just easier to do than doing it from the computer and transferring it, we're gonna head to my site by clicking the link below uh, and then click the link to the developer's thread on XDA. Once there, you're going to search through the first post and find the download links for the S8 launcher, Bigsby, and AOD, which is always on display. Also check the AOD and see if it comes in a .jar format. If it does, then head back to my site and download the one that I've hosted there for that instead. Once those are downloaded, we need to install them in a particular order. Go to Settings, Apps, tap the three dots at the top right and tap on Show System Apps. Then we can tap on TouchWiz Home, Storage, and Clear the Data and Cache. Then pull down the Notification Shade or go to My Files in the App Drawer, then Downloads, and tap on the S8 Launcher we downloaded to install it. Once it's installed, go back to Settings, Apps, Tap on those three dots to get the show system apps again. Tap on TouchWiz Home, Storage, and then Clear Data and Cache again. Then we can press the Home button and you should now be in the new S8 launcher. Next, we'll get Bigsby. And uh, since there is no dedicated button for Bigsby on the S7 like there is on the S8, the only real way to get to it is to swipe over on the Home screen. Um, but you know, what can you do? Pull down the notification shade or go to My Files in the App Drawer then Downloads and tap on Bigsby to install that. Tap and hold on a blank area of the S8 launcher's home screen and tap on the launcher settings inside there. Make sure that all of Bigsby's options are on. Then we can push the home button and swipe over to the left to get to the Bigsby screen and we can tap start. Once that's all done, we can reboot the phone and once it boots back up, we can swipe left and we should be able to see the Bigsby cards screen. Next, we can install the always-on display to get the one that the S8 has. Uh, this is the display, by the way, that whenever the phone screen is locked, it shows uh, in black and white to save power, certain information like the clock, notifications, etc. Go to Settings, Display, disable the always-on display if you have it on at the moment, then head to Settings, Apps, tap on the three dots and tap on Show System Apps, tap on Always-on Display and clear the cache and the data. Pull down the notification shade or go to my files in the app drawer, then downloads and tap on the always on display APK that we downloaded earlier to install that. Again, if it's a dot jar and it won't let you install it, head to my site at the link below and then download the APK I've hosted there instead and then install that. After it does install, head to settings, apps, tap on the three dots and tap on show system apps, then tap on always on display and clear the cache and the data one more time. Then turn it back on and configure it as you would like in settings, display, always on display. There you go. You can mess around with the new S8 launcher. Uh, and let me know what you guys think. Tell me in the comments below. Head over to my site and let me know there as well. Or reach out to me on social networks. Uh, by the way, I also just relaunched my blog. It's been about 10 years that I've been doing it. Went on some other tangents with it. And now finally, as of like this week, we're bringing it back. So if you guys would like, I'd love for you guys to check that out. You can click a link floating around here with my The Unlocker logo on it. That'll take you to the site. Uh, I do tech news, other how-tos that don't necessarily make it here to video, uh, and a bunch of other stuff too that you might like. So please check it out, and if nothing else, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. But if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please check out my channel. That's also floating around my face right now. Uh, click that. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.